Welcome back, welcome back <laughs> to another, 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 another episode of Hook 'em Hard Fishing. I don't know if the wind going to affect the, the sound, but today it's a cool day out here. I think the high is supposed to be like 64, 65. Got a 12 to 13 mile an hour wind. You can see the waves. So I'm not too much worried about fishing the lake today. My thing is, I'm gonna go try to duck off in this marsh for a little while and see if I can catch anything coming through there. Cause by, the, by going in the marsh, you can position yourself sometime the way you're not affected by the wind at all. So hey, just wanna go out there and enjoy myself. If I don't fish today, I won't get a chance to fish till next Saturday and today is Saturday, so. I just wanted to take a chance at it. Ooh wee. And this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. So if I don't catch no fish, I'm still gonna leave here smiling. Amen. God bless. Hopefully I have some footage to put the video together. Pretty rough coming across the lake. I just want to duck off in the marsh because once I get up, up in there, it's going to be smooth. Oh man. Yes, sir. Almost there. Almost there. See, that's waves at 12 to 13 mile an hour wind. So that's just give y'all an idea. I mean, I know this GoPro camera kind of smooth things out a little bit, but that kind of give you an idea. If you're going to be new to kayaking or anything like that, or, you know, or just you look at the weather and have the urge to go out real bad and you see 12 to 13 mile an hour wind, this is what you're faced with. White caps and waves. Unless where you're going is protected by the wind from the beginning and you know the whole area you're fishing is protected by the wind. See, cause I'm looking at it already. It didn't, it's smoothing out a lot already over here. So what I'm about to do is anchor down a little bit before I go into the marsh and fish right here a little bit, see what I can catch. Cause a lot, I do real good right in this little spot. I've caught a ton of flounder and specks in this little spot. Uh oh, I think I got a flounder and hit it. Same spot where I caught them flounder at last time. Let's see what it is. Oh, what I said. What I said. Same spot I caught them flounder at last time. Whoa. Look at that. Same exact spot. Whoa. Same exact corner. Oh, I hate I lost my big net. Oh, this little net ain't cutting it. Oh, same exact spot. On that video where I missed that flounder and I turned back and I threw back in the same spot. This is the same spot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yes. Man, man, man. Starting off the day with a nice be still, 17 inch flounder. Look at that, starting off the day. And what's funny, I caught him right here on that same exact point where I caught a 17 inch flounder at not too long ago. Same exact point. So I'm gonna keep casting right here for a little bit, see what's going on. I mean, it's, it's a good spot because the water's calm because I'm away from the wind. That's why I came out here. I knew I was gonna find me some spots to duck away from the wind. I'm gonna fish here for a little bit. And uh, if nothing else, don't, if I don't catch nothing else in this area, I'm gonna move along and keep on going back till I get close to the lakes back there. But I won't be able to go into the back lakes today because of that wind so high, I don't need, I ain't gonna even mess with it. Yep, 17 inch flounder to start off with. Well, 17 and a half. Look at them, pretty. Look at them. Just watch them swim off.
Another flounder. Another one. Look at that. Oh. Oh man, I hate this little short net. Oh, don't lose them. Oh man. Nice big one. Oh, I hate this little short net. I'm gonna have to go get me another long net, man. Oh, Lordy. When you, anytime you fish, man, in the marsh, don't ever pass by a drain without casting in front of it. Oh, man. He a big one, too. Yeah. Man, I really hate that I can't keep these flounder. Ooh, the second one I caught is a big old wiping 19 inch flounder. <laughs> hook them, hook them, hook them, hook them, babe. I'm telling you, I'm out there doing it. I done enjoying myself this morning. Hopefully I get some redfish too, but hey, I've been knocking off two nice size flounder already. 17 and 19, look at that. Ooh, woo. Big old slabs, big old welcome mats. <laughs> Look at that, oh. God, I hate to let him go, but I had to. <laughs> All right, I didn't hit them two flounder and I said I was gonna fish that one little area. I said I wasn't gonna come to the back lakes, but when I got back here, it looked so smooth. Man, it got a ton of birds back here, but uh, I think I'm about to go explore somewhere I've never been before. I just got to make sure I don't get lost. That's the main thing. So I'm just trying to decide which way am I going to go. I think I'm going to take this cut over here. It'll be my first time going back there. Hopefully I'll find some more spots. Because once I get everything right with my John boat, man, I'm going to be all back here. Yep. Yeah. I mean, there's many different ways to go. I think I'm gonna go straight ahead so when I know I'll come back out, just keep going straight to uh, to my exit. I don't ever do this too much. That's what I like about these fin pedal drives. By doing that, when I get in water too, too low, that's all I have to do is just flutter it. Instead of making full making full uh, pedals to make it go in down. It just it sticks close to the boat and does this. And I'm still able to move in very shallow water. That's what I love about this. Hold it for the wind. <laughs> it, something on it, I bet. Something on it, here it go. Ah, I knew it. Oh, it come off. Ooh. Oh, it hit it good. Oh, that's why. Oh, it hit it good. <laughs> oh. I had to add this to the video for people that's you know always you know trying to find out new information and when they're getting into kayak fishing you know some always say oh paddle kayak just as good as a pedal drive but there's no way possible on a windy day like this on a pedal drive that you're going to cruise against the wind and still be able to fish still be able to cast and and do everything without having to continuously grab your paddle and trying to, you know, correct yourself or, or even just to keep from being blown away, you know? A lot of people always say, oh man, a paddle, a paddle, a paddle kayak is just as good as a pedal kayak. I mean, there's so many ways that a, 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 a pedal drive is 10 times better. I done got hung up in the grass. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 10 times better. I mean, it cannot compare. There's no comparison at all. I mean, I, I love to paddle too. But man, on a windy day like this, man, I wouldn't be able to cast as many times, near as many times as I could. See, I'm just cruising along against the wind. Paddle kayak, I got out the paddle a little bit. I done got hung up again. <laughs> that oh, y'all don't laugh at me too hard. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> But uh, 
Yeah, but anyway, with a paddle kayak, <laughs> you just can't do this. You continually have to have your hands doing something and it gets tiring too. So I just wanted to add that to the video. You know, I mean, to each his own. Like I said, I love the paddle, but on days like this, <sighs> you'll be wore out and we're hardly no fish. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what happened? There it go. Oh, he was swimming his way. Oh, he was swimming his way. Oh, I didn't pull it fast enough. I was trying to. Oh, I didn't want to pull it too fast because I thought maybe it was a flounder. I didn't want to uh, give him a chance to swallow it real quick. I mean, to get a hold of it because it was a small thump. Gah. Uh, I should have just reeled it in fast. But hey, we learn from our mistakes. I know somebody going to say, oh, you should have did this. Should have did that. Oh, well, hey, it happens. We learn from our mistakes. <laughs> oh, man. See, because the other flounder, when they hit earlier, what they did was they would thump it and then lay down. But this one here, whatever it was, grabbed it and swam toward me. So I was trying to take the slack up out of the line and it was coming toward me. So I don't know. Whatever it was, wasn't that big anyway. So, oh well. That bad boy was swimming toward me. Might be at the bottom right here somewhere. Might be at the bottom right here somewhere. Oh well, I might fish right here a few more seconds, a few more minutes, and then hit a few more spots and get ready to take it in. Yeah, the bite's been slow, which I knew it would. I mean, come on, uh, high tide at 11, low tide at 5.30 this evening. I know it would, but hey, if I didn't fish today, I wouldn't get a chance to fish till next weekend. So hey, now I'm exploring again. I'm coming back to some more areas I've never been in. I'm gonna get ready to turn around here in a little bit before it get too dark. But I was hearing uh, some splashing going on back here, like if something was feeding. So I'm trying to ease on back here to see if I can find something else. Oh, this is nice back here for real though. Yeah. Never been back here before. I keep seeing little small fish keep making splashes, but I heard a big splash back here earlier, so. Huh. Uh, try a little while longer than after that, I'm headed home. Whoa, there was something big right there. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, something big was right there just now. Oh, yes. Ooh, something big is right there. I thought I heard something big back here. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, that was a big old redfish look like. Oh my goodness. Oh, where is that? Where is that? Oh man. He turned around and come this way. Come on, show yourself again. Come on, show yourself again. Where you at? Oh man. Oh, I'm real shallow. Oh. Here goes the fun part, people. This is a north wind, so it's coming from that way. Oh, let me ease over here. I don't want to hit my drive on nothing. Forgot we're in low tide. So I'm not even going to try to fish this part. I'm just trying to make it back across the lake. Oh man, look at that. Look at the waves, babe. Telling you, man. 
Yeah. You gonna kayak a lot, get you a pedal drive. Something that can handle all this kind of stuff, you know? If I'd have just had a powder kayak, I mean, I don't have nothing against powder kayaks, like I said earlier. I like them. I love them. But it's just, to me, it's just not cut out for rough water like this. See how I'm just cutting on through it, headed back to my destination, about to head home. God bless. Done for the day. Signing out. Hook him, hook him, hook him. Hook him hard, babe. Hook him, hook him, hook him, hook him hard, babe.